Hi and welcome to Stamping Videos. Today I'm just going to show you a couple of quick tips on these two cards that I made yesterday. So let's get started. First I'll quickly go over the dimensions of the card. The base of the card is basic black and it's 5.5 by 8.5. This piece here is Whisper White and it's 3 and one quarter by 4 inch. And then there's a piece of basic black right on top of it, and that piece is 2 and 7 eighths by 3 and 5 eighths. And this part up here is actually glossy white, and it's 2 and 3 quarters by 3 and a half. And then the Christmas tree was stamped on a piece of vellum, cardstock vellum, and embossed in black. And the words from Heard from the Heart were embossed in white. And this Christmas tree is the snow swirl, from Snow Swirl. I wanted to show you really quickly what I did with the tree. So to adhere it, I didn't use any kind of tape or anything. Just took my 1 16th punch and punched right at the top of the tree through both the cardstock vellum and the glossy white. And I'm just going to add a rhinestone brad. and that's what's going to hold my tree on. Then when I just took my crystal effects and I'm just going to add a little bit of dimension on some of the decorations. So just give it a little drop. Then I'm just going to take my dazzling diamonds and add some on top. The really cool thing about it is where you've added the crystal effects and the dazzling diamonds, it actually changes the color of it. So it reflects colors around it and it's really, really pretty. So then you're going to let it dry and then you're going to adhere it to the front of your card. Or you could adhere it to the front of your card first and then put the crystal effects and the dazzling diamonds on after. Now I just want to quickly show you a few things about this card. Give you the dimensions first. The card base is 5.5 by 8.5, a piece of Pacific Point. It's 4 inches by 4 inches, piece of bashful blue. And the four white squares are 1 and 3 eighths by 1 and 3 eighths. And you can either cut them out or you can punch them out with the 1 and 3 eighths square punch. And the Pacific Point underneath the squares is 3 and 1 quarter inch by 3 and 1 quarter. So I just want to show you first of all about the hole piercing. And I used my piercing tool and my mat. But if you don't have one of these, you can just get a piece of fun foam. And what I did here was just go into Word and I just printed a bunch of periods with spaces in between them. I'm just going to take some cardstock vellum and put it over top. And the reason I'm doing that is so I can have a template that I can see through. So I'm just going to poke the hole so that they're basically even. So then when you have your template, you'll be able to see where you want to poke the holes. And then you can just use your template to poke it with a safety pin or um, a, a larger needle. They both so even if you wanted a design, like a swirl, you could just put the design on vellum with black stays on, and then you can just poke through, you know, under your card stock. If you wanted the design here, you can just poke through and you can see what you're doing. The other thing I wanted to show you really quickly is uh, these icicles. I learned this last year on Split Coast, and it's a really cool thing to do for a Christmas card. So you're going to take a piece of wax paper and crystal effects and you're just going to, if you want to make a snowflake, you can make a snowflake or if you just want to make icicles, you just design the pattern in the shape of icicles. So in between you're going to want to put the crystal effects so that it all stays together. And you're just going to take your dazzling diamonds, put it right over top, and then you're going to let it dry overnight. And once you've let it dry overnight, 
it's basically just going to peel right off and then you can just put adhesive behind it and then adhere it to whatever you want it ad adhered to. So that's it. Thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day of stamping.